Hello everyone! Welcome to the Port Calls YouTube channel. For today's video, CMO 11-2022, the implementation of the ECBCD system or the Electronic Customs Baggage and Currency Declaration System will be discussed by our consultant, Mr. Dexter Pedresa. CMO 11-2022, no? implementation of your ECBCD system. The ID clear system, also known as the Electronic Customs Baggage Declaration Form, no? or your ECBDF, was launched just recently at the Naia Terminal 1. So, what does I declare offer? So, it offers passengers the option to complete their declarations online before flying or even while en route to the Philippines. So, do you, naalala nyo pa ba yung printed customs form before? Diba, previously? Diba, may papel na parang ganun, pipirmahan, saroplano? During our time, tinanggal kasi yun, no? when you, I think, when memory serves me right, no? between 2015, 2016, basta tinanggal yan. No? So, if you are a frequent flyer, no? mapapansin nyo yan na, na, na hinto yan, no? hindi na kayo nagpipirma before. Uh, but now, no, um, may, pero during the time namin na tinanggal yan, may, there, there were much clamor no, doon sa mga datihan na sa especially in the NAIA na importante talaga siya no? which ako naman I agree because all, almost all countries has, has a similar declaration system nalik nila ulit no, um, yung yun, ito na, online na yun yung mga kagandahan nung pandemic napilitan lahat to automate So, where can you access your iDeclare? No? So, you can access it here at https no? iDeclare.customs.gov.ph Or at a designated kiosk at the customs arrival and departure areas. So, who should use the ECBCD? All international travelers and crew arriving from abroad or departing from all ports in the country. So, all inbound travelers and crew members must accomplish the ECBDF, including the Electronic Currency Declaration Form, or the ECDF. If applicable, no? in the ECBCD system, before or upon arrival in all ports of entry. So, upon sign-in, at the portal, the, travel, the traveler or crew member should select arrival or departure in the ECBCD system homepage. QR code will be generated after successful submission in the ECBCD system for presentation to the assigned customs officer at the customs arrival or departure areas for validation and clearance. The QR code will be sent to the registered email address provided during registration. So, in addition to the electronic customs baggage, as mentioned earlier, the following documents must be uploaded in the ECBCD system if applicable. So, yun nga, number one, yung inyong electronic customs declaration form for travelers and crew members being into the country foreign currency in excess of $10,000 or its equivalent in other foreign currency and other foreign currency denominated bearer monetary instruments or bringing in more than 50,000 pesos of legal tender Philippine notes and coins, checks, money order and other bills of exchange drawn in pesos against banks operating in the Philippines. Okay? So, yan. $10,000 or excess or 50,000, more than 50,000 pesos. So, prior, the next is yung prior BSP authorization for travelers and 
crew members bringing in more than 50,000 Philippine notes and coins, checks, money orders, and other bills of exchange drawn in pesos against banks operating in the Philippines. So, kailangan ng authorization pa. The next is your import clearance, permit licenses from relevant regulatory agency in case of restricted and regulated goods in excess of limits allowed by the agencies. Or, owner's pre-departure declaration form or certificate of identification for goods previously exported. 